What's good, YouTube? Today we're gonna be looking at when abducted children are finally found by police officers. Without further ado, let's get started. There are many cases of children getting kidnapped every year that are never found. So okay. what happens when the police are actually able to find them? I'm Jake, and I found three cases of when abducted children were able to be found. Oh, hell no. This nigga look like a WWE wrestler. What are you doing with a child, bro? And saved. Starting with the worst case of one 41-year-old Jeremy who was caught driving under the influence, and while his case should under have been a simple DUI, the presence of six minors in his you don't, you don't even got the van you're doing this off a pickup truck six minors is insanity dude this car caused his circumstances to go south hey there who he look like he look like someone but mr clean kratos he kratos bro how are you all right just all right yeah okay yeah. should drive license there's a wallet right there between your legs a little bit nervous. Do y'all see how? No, he's very Sometimes, nervous. The way you're driving, at times, you all the way from lane number one. Oh my God. You all the way from lane number one. And then you took that curve way too fast. I did. I'm sorry. Keep it, your vehicle one lane. And then you took that curve way too fast. I did. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I thought you were going to crash. There doesn't seem to be any point in trying to explain Jeremy's actions to him because he seems wasted out of his mind. Regardless, okay. the officers have a protocol, but they're about to spot something very concerning inside of his car. Okay, and then you have a bunch of kids and then the car, how many kids? You have one, two, three, four, five, six. Who are these kids to you? Uh, this is just my friend. <laughs> Out of all the excuses you could have came up with, those kids are your friends? You couldn't say they were, you were holding them for another family member? You're, you're like their uncle? Uh, maybe not uncle, but you, you get what I'm trying to say, cousin? You're finished. That's your friend? Yeah. How old's your friend? 18. That girl's not 18, trust me. She don't look 18. Ma'am, how old are you? Jeremy is delusional if he thinks those children can be friends with someone three decades older than him. When put into- he's, he's, he's about to bust the Josh Giddy excuse. You're not at a club, buddy. You picked them up. You got them from your local playground. Perspective, it's even more horrifying to consider that he has been drunk and speeding with six innocent lives in his vehicle. Furthermore, Max. his attempt to hide the age of the blatantly minor girl in the front seat is disgusting. But the officer has seen enough of his shady display. Jeremy, just turn the car off and come back here and talk to me. All right. Let me see the keys. Come on out. Why's your, why, why's your zipper, your buttons down in your crotch? <laughs> no, this video is getting crazier and crazier. Please do not tell me the reason why he was zooming in shit was because he was getting... No, I don't even want to think about the fact that he might have been getting slurps. Officers, if you're doing the right thing, do not arrest this man. Get an AA-12 with a switch. Make sure that shit not going jam and start blasting at his face. You might need to do 12 extra shots because I see a belly, but please do something. Well, I probably just forgot. Okay. I'll button my zipper. Right? Yeah, please button your zipper. I mean, I had to, I had to take it like a piss and... Um... As if Jeremy's awfulness knows no bounds, his pant zipper is found undone when he steps out of the car. Damn. The officer demonstrates great self-restraint by not verbally attacking him more on the matter as Jeremy makes some excuses on the spot, but his fabricated stories don't stop here. Hey, how much you had to drink tonight? I haven't had anything to drink. Okay, I'm asking you again. You can barely stand still. So how much have you been drinking? I messed up, but I haven't been drinking. When did you last drink? Like, probably, um... Like, an hour? I would say it's more than an like, no, he's definitely been drinking, but he was very much sober when he thought to pick up the children from the playground. Maybe two? Yeah. R roughly? Okay. Like two hours. That's fair. Because you know what? Two hours is totally different than, no, I haven't been drinking. Yeah. But I mean, that's uh, okay. That's okay. We're not, not going to argue I about mean, it. Uh, I mean, I know what I smell. I know what I hear. I know what I see. Simple as that. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. Well, you already did. Do you think you're safe to drive? Yeah. You do? Absolutely. Once again, you and I will disagree on that too. Piece by piece, his lives fall apart like a house of cards as Jeremy is constantly backtracking and contradicting his statements. For someone to be that intoxicated and think it's safe to drive, the only place he should be driven to is the police station. The yes. officer will now No, make he needs to be driven at the edge of a cliff. The attempt to With talk him to in the it. kids in the car. Okay, how old are you? 14. 14. Thank you. Some simple question. 14. Okay. 18. Okay. Who is this guy to anybody? She knows his kid. Okay, so you guys all need to call your parents and have your parents meet, meet us here. 13 and 14 year olds have no business being in a car with a grown up like Jeremy without supervision since they're- Y'all, your chat, he might be a Discord mod, bro. Underage, the only route left is to communicate with their parents, which the officer does. Meanwhile, Jeremy is attempting to field sobriety test with the officers. I told you to go forward, remember? From H, From H to S. It's pretty simple. Uh, I just didn't understand what you wanted to- Yeah, uh, all right. One center, bro. One center around. One center around. All right, so you're going to be placed under arrest for DWI, okay? Okay, is he also going to get arrested for having six minors? The seat inside right here. 
Upon failing the field sobriety test, he's escorted to the backseat of the police car. It's a relief that a menace like him is put away from society. Thankfully, he'll be getting more than just a DUI charge, as he is also charged with six counts of child abuse and rape. But if you th You were doing a bit more than drinking, buddy. It seemed that you were on a hunt for cupcakes. No, he definitely did it. Do you all see his face? No, that nigga definitely did it. But if you thought that was bad, then you probably didn't hear about this next case, which is similar to Jeremy's, except for the fact that firearms are involved too, as an Amber Alert was issued for a five-year-old child who has been abducted from his mother. No, I'm not gonna lie, that's probably the first time I hear about um, Amber Alert rescuing someone, because I don't care. Let me hear the fact that an Amber Alert is literally my next door neighbors. If I'm playing a video game, I am not gonna be Superman. I'm gonna finish my game, my nigga. Respectfully, whoever's missing, I'm sorry, I hope, I pray you get saved. But I'm also praying the fact that I'm gonna carry my team in Fortnite Battle Royale. Respectfully though at gunpoint. However, the SWAT team does not mess about and is able to pinpoint and hunt the kidnapper, Sean, down. He came out of there. I'm telling y'all, he really did. Where, where did he go, dear? He, he stood by the laundry door uh, with the dude. little boy. Don't you snitch. The don't witnesses snitch. explain how they saw Sean with the little boy. It's a blessing they've chosen to report this because every passing moment can be a choice of life or death for the victim involved. All right, I got a couple of adults in the living room. There's a kid. Hey, come on out. Bring the kids out. Come here. Hey. Come here, sweetie. Come here, baby. It's okay. Is that Sean? No, 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 no. That's my buddy, Travis. Sean is time. We need to step the children. One adult at a time. Over here. Are we seeing a whole preschool come out? What is this? Behind the cruiser, guys. After locating the household Sean is inside, the SWAT team directs all the other members to step out. Armed men stand outside the residence, and the atmosphere is tense. But there is no sign of Sean among the people that walk out. On the other hand, the boy has been successfully saved. How you doing, brave man? Three knuckles. Yeah, oh, we miss. You miss. <laughs> there you go. Did you let him use the lights yet? Yeah. Most of your lights are dead. They're all, yeah, they're all messed crazy. up. Yeah. It's a sight to see the young boy in good spirits with the heart of a warrior after the terrifying incident he has gone through. While this is happening, another officer finally takes Sean into custody. I'm in. Come on out. Do you have anything on you that you miss? Knives, guns, drugs, needles? Is that Conor McGregor? Dog, you should be in the, the UFC ring, not in a predator ring. Anything like that? I do got to go through all your pockets, all right? Despite being arrested for such a horrific crime, there seems to be not an ounce of remorse on Sean's face. He walks out all proud, but he'll get his humbling dose of medicine. Is that little peep? Stop, bro. No time. Uh, I don't know if she said something about getting, my mom, my mom stays on this street over it. She's got to get a phone number. Uh, it's maybe we have the number memorized? No, she did right here. That's why I'm putting that on the phone. Remember what I need? All right. Sean needs to be thankful that the law isn't treating him the way he treated that boy, as he has no right to ask about his own mother after snatching that child from his terrified mother at gunpoint. But that's where the Damn. difference between police officers at, and criminals- at, at gunpoint? You willing to shoot someone over their child? Okay. ...truly lies. Okay, so there is a cut up there on your head. You can take care of that as well. I don't think you need any stitches, but I'm going to as a last act of kindness, the officers patch him up medically as well. But all their leniency ends here, and Sean is officially charged with kidnapping, abduction. No, he is a UFC wrestler. I knew it, nigga. Ears like that only come with UFC wrestlers. Abduction and domestic violence. While this is horrible, this still can't beat the time when a man allegedly stole a car with a nine-year-old present in the back seat. The child's mother claims that after pulling into a parking area, she got out of her car and left her nine-year-old son and her keys inside. What she didn't expect was a 38-year-old Darius. Okay. I I thought he was abducting like a Dodge Charger, maybe a Corvette, maybe a lamp truck. Dude, you gonna do all of that for a Honda? I, I own a Honda before any, I, I just mean you're gonna go out of your way to steal a Honda? Go to jail for a Honda? I'm not going to jail for a Honda. I'm going to jail for a Trackhawk. Of course not with a child in it though, okay? It's white to seize the criminal opportunity, jump into her car and drive off with her child. It's right there, I'm gonna go look. I got the car, Peoples and RDA. The officer uses my location technology on the child's iPhone and begins surveying the area with a drone. He's able oh. to track the vehicle down, alerting other officers of the location as well. Show me your hands. Show me your hands. Get the out of the car. Get the open the door. Open the door. Well, I'm not going to lie. The way he pressed them, chat, that shit made me hard. Now I'm a little bricked. Oh my gosh, she's trying to kill me. You're not gonna use the BLM card right here, buddy. You were trying to abduct a child. Okay, R. Kelly. Why would you do that, man? 
Get out. Please don't. Please don't. Get out. Don't beat me up, man. Get Listen. Don't, don't, don't fight me, man. Get on the ground. Don't fight me. Stop. Don't fight me. Stop. Stop using the BLM card. Stop. Don't fight me. He don't stop. 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 With a case as serious as this, the officer wastes no time in trying to talk to the criminal. This isn't a simple theft, it is a kidnapping. And cops don't yes, dilly dally around yes. with the golden hour, the first 72 hours of abduction. Stop using that victim card just cause just cause he or she is black. Dude, you kidnapped someone, dude. He hit us. That's messed up. Oh, it's at this stage during the arrest where the criminal starts their mumble jumble, but none of that will excuse what he's done today. For someone who hijacked and sped off with a car with a child inside, he has a lot of opinions on the police being messed up. I don't know what's more clapped, his hairline or his actual hair. Guarantee you brush a comb through that shit, five of the pig strands are gonna break. That's messed up. Darius is dealt with swiftly and justly, and he faces charges of kidnapping, cruelty towards children, and theft. Now, let's see how the young boy's doing. W kid, man. W kid, man. I'm not gonna lie out. This is a very wholesome video. The poor boy is clearly shaken up, calling out for the mother he was snatched from. The way the officer is handling the boy shows a very compassionate side of his, and it really is a miracle that the child was reunited with Facts. his mother. If you enjoy true crime, anyways, YouTube. That does conclude the video. Make sure you guys subscribe to us on Discord, catch us on Twitch. Stay safe, all that good stuff. Black Star for life. Love y'all.